Alright, so apparently it's possible to despawn this guy from the block. And if we do that, it would then be possible to go inside. I can see this happening in the NES version. But I don't know about this version. So, how would one go about despawning you? I do not know what are the despawn rules. Well, yeah, look at that. Of course, now I have the Paragoomba in a way. But then that stopped being a thing. So you have plenty of time to just press down on this white block. You fade into the... I thought you were just invincible. Well, point is, then you fade into the background and you can go and get a flute. So, you can get two flutes if you're going to do a full aesthetic run. So, strictly speaking, you could skip straight to World 8. However, I think that's not the correct strategy to do because I think you want to accumulate some tools in some of the levels. But hey, good to know. Hey there, one, the cell couch. Just want to look. Okay, so that's my tool set. Playing Mario 3, set it run, no money, no points. All the points and money you see down there were moments of failure. Like naturally, my my goal was not just to iron out the perfect run and then, you know, then execute it and have a pure looking hub when we beat the game. I'm a lot more interested in the really in the puzzle aspect. Seeing the levels, seeing where things get blocked, what you can see about it. To me, that's just like... To me, that's the whole point of the exercise. Which, you know, means... We won't always have perfect runs, because that's not the point. Look at that guy. He's just swimming around like some kind of swimming jerk. Normally, you get a power-up here. So, see, we're getting to the part of the game where, you know, some parts, like, just... Uh... Oh boy, um, Looper has a family now, in case you didn't know. They're... I don't think that squids have much in terms of family instincts, but, I mean, I don't know. I'm not a squid. I just very possibility that there's a strong parental bond between a squid and its brood. I'm aware that you can run and hit and you get a star almost always, but I uh, specifically take my time because in case there's an enemy hiding in there that I need to contend with and or activate on the monk mode. All right, so here we go. This is level. He's gonna jump up and try to get himself killed. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be a problem. Um. Okay, this one might be spicy. Let's see how it goes. So to here it's fine, but then this happens. Okay, you can do that. Alright, alright, alright. That fish down there only does these little baby hops. He's not very dangerous. Oh boy, can I just... I don't know if I can just swim all the way in the bottom. Maybe it's something worth trying. I certainly can. But is it... <sighs> Alright, well, up to here, this is val valuable. Valuable? Yeah, and then here you can jump up here. Alright, so yeah, easiest way to do this level is to not really play it. <laughs> so just chow, another fish. Whoa. Oh what? You double bop? Since when do a fish double bop? Double bop. From Brasbro. Oh, whoops, swimming here. <sighs> Fine if I bump. Oh, no, this. Alright, there we go. Ah, there we go. Dead it. I dodged the fish. Fish.
Dash Dodger Extraordinaire Mario. <laughs> I did it. As far as I'm aware, it is always a frog suit you get in this house. Pick a box. Its contents is full of things. That's not even funny. Like, you just, you just said a word. Alright, here we go. Boss Bass. This is a Boss Bass level. You know Boss Bass? Uh, there's a lot of money here. That's scary. Alright, um... You know what? I might take my time a bit more than I would otherwise. How about that? Ridiculous hail platforms. They're here way before hell. Alright, look at that fish. Yeah, take my time. You got plenty of time. Take my time. Take- didn't get eaten. Taking my time. <laughs> uh, okay, this is weirdly constructed, but whatever. That fish is excited, which means it might bop with my shoes. Oh, what? Is this possible? Oh, uh, okay. That got interesting. Those are just outright. Oh, boy. Yeah, so, uh. This affects your physics if you're small. But if you're big, this just acts normally. I did. Oh, hammer is getting me excited, honestly. So, yeah. I found a Buddha on the road. I had no choice but to kill him. Can I go? I. So. At some point, there's just a whole bunch of money. And naturally, that's no good for me. I don't think I can go under me be. Oh, I don't know, man. Then we get, okay, like up to here is fine, but then it's just all slipped off. Sorry. Dang it. Well, uh, dang it. Is everything is fine. I'm just gonna say dang it for fun. Yeah, I just don't see this happening. It's not impossible. It's just. Did he eat me, or what happened there? Is it possible? Well, there I messed up. That is just continuous, huh? No, there's, well, continues. There's a weird coin stop there, and there there might be a path, so okay, doable. It's like a one-up, probably. Like, there's no rules against not getting one-ups, but... Blah! 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 <laughs> Any surprises here? Surprises, 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 no surprises. This is the world where you just swim underneath everything. That's all you gotta do. I think I'm gonna end with the fortress today. Uh, six door fortress, name as such, Jutsu. Well, I mean, you'll see soon enough. Uh, thank you, speedrunning community. I always remember that 5 6 because I always went in door number 5 for the 1 up. See, that's 3 doors. And that's 4, 5, 6. You gotta pick the right door, otherwise, you fall in the drink down there and you gotta start over. It's a very exciting and interestingly designed level. And that's Boom Boom. He has wings sometimes, but don't tell him about it. He gets really bashful around the concept. Having his hands replaced by feathery membranes. 
We're dead at a video game. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. Lots of swimming under stuff today. Uh, I'm gonna take it easy, because I don't know what to expect, honestly.